Good morning, family and friends. I wish I had Derek's vocal cords today. We're stuck with my cords. I want to welcome everyone and thank each of you for being here on this joyous occasion. It is no accident that each of you are here today. All of you were invited because you represent someone important individually or collectively in the lives of Derek and Annalise. I can't think of a more beautiful venue for this momentous occasion. Not only for the couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know them and love them as individuals, but also as a perfect pair. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet a person who makes your world a better place. The person you share a bond so special that it transcends a normal relationship and becomes something so pure and wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. As Annalise's uncle, I know how deeply these two care and love each other. And I feel privileged to be here today around all of you as a witness to their commitment to a lifetime of love with one another. As Derek and Annalise prepared for the ceremony, they reflected on what irritates us, I mean love, about each other. <laughs> Derek, Annalise loves the way you can identify all the expired vehicle registrations when you're driving together. <laughs> and this one's for, uh, for Christian. Dad is slow as molasses when he's driving. <laughs> Annalise says when she is a passenger in Derek's truck, she presses the fake gas pedal and leans forward in an attempt to make the truck go faster. <laughs> but she loves that you always support her in everything she does. She loves that you are a big, her biggest fan and that no one else will ever love or care for her as much as you do. Amen. Annalise, Derek loves that you give him a bad time about how many pairs of shoes he has. <laughs> Even though you have just as many shoes. Yeah. <laughs> he loves when you start off the sentence by saying, don't get mad at me, but... He loves that it's your kitchen, but it's our garage. <laughs> he loves that you blessed him with a son and that there's not a more caring, loving mother or companion in the world. He knows you get mad when he tells, he tells people she puts up with me. He knows he is not easy, easy to deal with, but he knows you understand his work and what he's trying to do in life. He appreciates that you don't complain and that you support him. He loves that you both laugh together and each, at each other because you both have the same sarcastic humor. <laughs> each of us knows that a marriage is not created by a law or a ceremony. Rather, it grows in the hearts of two human beings. It grows out of loving, caring, and sharing ourselves with one another. The ceremony is not a magical event. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist between Derek and Annalise. At the ceremony today, we're only observing an outward sign of an inward union that has already flourished between Derek and Annalise. This ceremony is only a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promise that they have made with one another. There are only two official witnesses at a wedding but each and every person here today will witness the vows that they will take today. We now come to the words Derek and Annalise wants to hear the most today, the words that transition them from being engaged to married. Annalise, do you take Derek for your lawfully wedded husband to love and cherish from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? If so, say I do. Derek. Do you take Annalise for your lawfully wedded wife to have cherished from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health? If so, say I do. <laughs> a marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made of the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered into with the desire and hope that will last for a lifetime. Everyone here has advice for the newlyweds. Derek and Annalise, I offer these good wishes on this special day. 
May your life together be blessed with prosperity and good health. May you always share open and honest communication with each other. May you respect each other's individual talents and gifts and give full support to each other's professional and personal pursuits. May you cherish the home and family you have built together. May all the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May your love be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. By the power vested in me as a Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Derek, you may now kiss the bird. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce the member of Simon, Sir Mrs. Van Gleck.